Welcome to Excellence in Excel and in this video I will explain about Google Sheets and how you can use the weak number function. So the weak number function is very straightforward. It just counts which weak number we are in based on a specific date. However, there's something you must consider. So let me show you exactly. There are two ways of counting the weak numbers. Yes, and you can see here, it's very simple. It already shows you here. The default way, or the number one, we call that, is starting the week counting based on Sunday. Every time the week will start on the, the first Sunday of when it hits the Sunday. Another way is counting a week based on Monday. So every time when it's Monday, it will start and count up. So let me show you exactly how we can do it. Let's type in here equal and then we type in week number or week num. And then we're going to select. So I select here this date here. So this is a Monday. And you can see here also the suggestions. Select the date and then comma one or number two. You can see here the, the type, which is optional, a number representing the day that the week starts on. So let's select this. And we get this here because this is the value is basically in here. All right. And enter. So you can see now on a Monday, on default, it is week 33. So what happened if I say, all right, instead of Monday, I want to go back to Sunday. You can see nothing changes because it starts at Sunday because this is the default. So if I put in number one here, enter, we still maintain 33 because the default is 33. So what happened now if we start to change this to number two? Once we do number two, you can see we're dropping from 33, from week 33, we're dropping to week 32. And this is exactly now what happens if we do here plus two instead of one, meaning that we will be on Monday, then you'll see this jumps up. Let's enter, and there you are. And here you can see week numbering when it counts. Very useful because this is like a normal working day when it starts and that's a very consistent one that people use as a way to measure their week. So this is really very important. Understanding these numbers here impacts the way the weeks are being counted. And my common recommending uh, recommendation is to use the number two because since that's really my standard. But of course default here is on Sunday. And that's really how you use the week number function in Google Sheets. Very simple. 